Hello, I'm Dan Marr from Hamlin and Kerrigan. I am practice here in New Hampshire for, for approximately 35 years, 36 years, and in Massachusetts for approximately 28 years. And I'm going to be talking, I'm licensed in both states, practice in both states. I'm here in Nashua, New Hampshire at Hamlin and Kerrigan. And I'm going to be talking today about, briefly, about when you have a dispute with your insurance company in regards to liability insurance. So you have, you have a business or you're operating a business or you might have an automobile accident and there's an issue with the insurance company saying we don't think there's coverage or we think there's, there may not be coverage and we're doing something called the reservation of rights which I'll we'll talk about or there might not be enough insurance there and there's a question of what, what happens if you go to trial and there's only a certain amount of insurance and you could have settled within the policy limit. So I'm going to talk about all those things. That's when you have a dispute with your insurance company, your liability insurance company. So if you have car insurance, by way of example, and you have um, $250,000 worth of coverage, you should have more. But if you don't have that or, and you don't have an umbrella policy for your home and your house and, um, and you have significant assets, then you're at risk if there's a judgment against you. Um, if, if you are in an accident, there could be, you know, people make mistakes. It doesn't mean that you don't have to be driving drunk or you can be a responsible driver, but still accidents happen and you kill somebody. The accident could have, there could be damages in excess of $250,000, obviously, in that example. And if the insurance company had the ability to resolve that case within that $250,000 and um, you you just have who they've hired for insurance defense counsel. They're not that insurance defense counsel. While they're going to represent you well in that case, they're not going to go against the insurance company, and then they're, they're not supposed to go against the insurance company and go and say, "Look, you better settle within this policy limits because if you don't, I'm coming after you for a bad faith claim." It's called a Dumas claim, saying that you have, as an insurance company, you have an inherent conflict of interest of between protecting the insured and trying to get the best deal possible for yourself. And while you're trying to negotiate this, you could have settled this within the $250,000. You know, as the insurance company, your cap is $250,000. So other than paying for the, for the insurance defense counsel, it might be worth you taking the risk. But if there's a million dollars worth of liability verdict against the person that has assets, you've substantially hurt them by not accepting that um, plaintiff's counsel's offer to settle within the $250,000 limit. So in those circumstances, there's something called a Dumas claim, and you want private counsel for that. And I've, I've dealt with those situations in a variety of circumstances. And in that situation, I'm private counsel for the, for the insured defendant and also pushing um, or, or discussing with the insurance company directly, not through insurance defense counsel, but with the insurance company directly and maybe their coverage counsel why they should be settling within the policy limits. There's also a possibility that there might be a liability issue. Say there's a um, there's a there's an exemption that might apply in a commercial liability policy. Um, it might be a, an issue as to whether or not the contract that is being fought over is what's called an insured contract, or it might be a mold or lead exclusion. There can be a variety of things within the, the insurance themselves, and the insurance company might be doing acting under a reservation of rights, but it depends on how the case goes as to whether or not there's coverage. In that situation, the Insurance Defense Council is just going to be defending all those claims. Private counsel may want to ask certain questions, be actually act actively involved in the litigation, asking certain questions to direct the case so that if there is liability, there's coverage. Not doing anything dishonest, but there's certain, certain um, legitimate ways that you can ask questions that you can get the answers that are more supportive of your position. And in that situation, private counsel can assist you in regards to that. And certainly, lastly, of course, there could be a situation where the insurance company is not willing to cover the issue at all, and you still, you certainly, so you don't have insurance defense counsel. And in that situation, obviously, you want coverage counsel to be fighting for that. And there's something called a dec declaratory, declaratory judgment action that can be filed, and we've done the, we do those. We actively do those right now, and we have been doing it for many, many years, um, to go after the insurance company to have a determination by the court as to whether or not there's coverage for the claim. If you have any questions in regards to this, you can contact me. I'm Dan Marr at Hamlet and Kerrigan in Nashville, New Hampshire. My telephone number is 603-883-5501, or you can check out our website, Nashville Law, one word, 
nashualaw.com. That's nashualaw.com. And you can look at a variety of our vlogs and blogs and other useful information. Again, our telephone number is 603-883-5501. Look forward to working with you if the opportunity so arises. Thank you.